Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Brink Chardonnay, or Brink Wine Company Chardonnay. I should make sure I say the name properly. It's 12% alcohol by volume. It's from Italy, and uh, this is a 500 milliliter Tetra pack, which means it has three glasses of wine in it, which is perfect if you uh, have a hard time moderating yourself, or if you care about not having a glass footprint, or if you're like near some place like a pool or a river and you don't want to have glass with you. So this is another one of those alternatives to like a canned wine. Oh, it's Screw Top Plus one. This is one of those alternatives to a canned wine uh, that you can also not feel bad about recycling. All right, from color standpoint, I'm gonna give you a pale lemon, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, on the nose. I realize I'm being ominous here, but I will get to what I think I'm detecting in a moment. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not going crazy. Let me focus on the things I am getting. I am getting, there is a little bit of a red apple. There's a little bit of a pear. There is a touch of lemon. So the thing that was kind of throwing me off at first was I was, I was smelling what felt like a pretty reasonable amount of volatile acidity, also known as VA, but it's kind of gone away. It's still slightly present. The other thing that I'm getting in this that it's a little bit strange to me is I'm actually getting like white grape, like white grape juice, a touch of that. Yeah, anyway, how does it taste? So, the thing about this wine is it has tannin. That's the first thing I detected on the palate. The second thing is a, a small amount of EA. Not to where I would say it, it's actually a fault at this point, but those two things totally overpower the rest of the experience for this wine. I, I just want to get to the blip. So from a balance standpoint, zero, zero points. And on top of that, it's hot. It's, it has like a hot aftertaste after all that stuff. So, yeah, so balance, zero points. Um, length, there's, there's nothing desirable about it, zero. Intensity, if you like, no, no, just, just zero. Complexity, zero points. This is a bad wine. I don't like this wine. And, and here's the thing is that it's, the thing that's the most off-putting about this wine is the texture. Like I open this up and I don't expect all white wines to be super smooth and, and but it literally felt like I was, I was rubbing sandpaper in my mouth for this wine. And then on top of that, it was like, slightly vinegary sandpaper. And and that is all, that's just a bad start to begin with. And then the fact that all the other intensity drops off the surface super fast. Yeah, it's just not an enjoyable drinking experience. And uh, I think there's only one more thing that we can do with this wine. Adios. This too. Ooh, it's stinky. Ugh. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Brink Chardonnay? Dear God, please tell me you haven't. And if you have, let me know if I'm as crazy in the comments below. And I will see you all again soon with another review from Wine on the Dime. Might need to refill this thing. Ugh. Can't get that taste out of my mouth.